Today's words are weird and versatile. Hey y'all, Karen here. Here on Daily Derivative, I take two seemingly unrelated words and show you how they stem from a common root word. Now I'm no linguist, but you don't have to be a linguist to think language is neat. Hi there, today's words are weird and versatile. Fun fact, as a southerner, I tend to pronounce words like versatile and volatile with a hard I. But for y'all, I'll try to keep it to the more proper versatile. Starting with the definition, weird means suggesting something strange or uncanny. Versatile means able to adapt or be adapted to many different functions or activities. Weird and versatile share the root wear, which is the Proto-Indo-European root meaning to bend or turn. Starting with versatile, it mainly comes from Latin starting with versatilis, meaning turning with ease to multiple subjects. Versatilis comes from the combining form of versare, meaning turn something over in the mind, or to be engaged. Versare is the frequentative form of vertire, meaning to turn. Finally, vertire comes from the Proto-Indo-European root word, weir. So what about weird? Weird comes from the Old English word weird, with a Y, meaning fate. If you enjoy fantasy novels, weird shows up quite a bit. Weird literally means that which comes from. Weird crosses through Proto-Germanic and Proto-Indo-European to the Proto-Indo-European root weir. Let's look at the sense evolutions. First, how does where to turn make it to weird that which comes from, or to become? It's pretty simple when you think about it. Think of something turning into something. It becomes the thing. Fate is something that will be. Second, how does weird fate make it to weird strange? Well, you can thank Shakespeare for that. In Macbeth, the Weird Sisters were meant to be witches who could see the future. But they were also strange, so Weird started applying generically to strange instead of having the power to control fate. Let's put this into a sentence. He may seem weird, but he turned out to be an incredibly versatile employee. And that is how, through the evolution of language, weird and versatile share the Proto-Indo-European root, weird, meaning to turn. I found the idea of frequentative form interesting, so I thought I'd share. It is a specific form that indicates repeated action. A couple of examples in English include a curd is created by curdling, a drip becomes a dribble, and mud is muddling something, which is pretty neat. Thanks for joining, and don't forget to check out some of our older episodes.